chairman of the board, Religious Technology Center, Mr. David Miscavige. Thank you very much. It's truly my pleasure to join you on a day when all becomes evident as to why so many speak of Georgia in terms of the new repressive longing. It's also now evident why you're rallying, why included, all in and all the way, bringing it on, getting her done, and asking who's next 10,000 times for this up of the South and this city that's not too busy to care. So, it's now a fun Thank you. 
God will not only set people free, but also bring them happiness. The third gift spoken more to you than those two words that anyone will ever know. So they need to talk to themselves. And so we need to stand united to provide every soul in this city with a chance to walk the way to happiness. And finally, to the Honorable Donzella James. You describe our founder as a man before his time, during his time, and still most relevant to this time. To which you add, he will always be with us, and his teachings will forever live on. Well, madame, you've just spoken to the spiritual core of every Scientologist on Earth, so on their behalf, not to mention, on behalf of Elrage himself, Thank you, and I assure you of our unshakable commitment to see it so. Do whatever it takes 
which a lot of other campaign exploits meant more than 5,000 miles of interstate highways and breaking the most story in Georgia history. Although given an uncanny touch of OT magic, that's also her trademark, she arrives at where I am now obliged to say, you embrace the land, now and let ever embrace you. The next deserving of our profound thanks is a pair of players who have minds new south commitment and determination. She's an executive capacity under ideal or the Atlanta team, and he as a perfect southern gentleman with a flawless, oh my god. He also does the matrix as a downright identical Tiana Reeves, while she jungles numerous hats every which way and all the time. Final applause. And it's 
tribute to what Night Yieldberg represents as a permanent picture in the lives of those who create them. And I don't mean just one life only. I mean the whole continuum of a lifetime. For as long as it takes to get the job done, I mean an ideal word as an anchor point, an elastic poem, no matter where one goes. Because after all, who could possibly create something as majestic as this and not carry the knowledge forever in a day? All of which is to finally say, in the not too distant future, <coughs> everyone will recognize that proud knowledge of God's Arising, you can truthfully say, that it's rising. 